Right, I've been working on these couplings. Um, some nice one mil diameter magnets arrived, so I've made up uh, some couplings using those, and now we want to see how those perform. Last time we had two mil diameter couplings, so these much, uh, should be much, much weaker, uh, which I hope will be a benefit. First thing we're going to look at is how they react when we go to buff up. Now then, see I can get much, much closer. Uh, I'm just going to come away again. And now I shall actually couple up and we'll see uh, how much the coach lurches towards the loco. Almost nothing. I think that's really good. Um, as I say, almost nothing there. And compared to bumps of any other couplers coupling up, I think that's perfectly acceptable and perfectly within bounds. So will it actually pull them without coming apart? Now for this test, we'll see in a minute. Yes is the answer. Now that we've got two of these coaches on, uh, which means we've got much less track to play with. Now these coaches are actually surprisingly heavy because on the underside here, we've got lovely great lumps of lead. And same on this coach too. Oops, Loco's just fallen off the end. Put that back on. There we go. Uh, and put it back on the track properly. A bit. And of course, the nice thing with these couplers is they, uh, within reason, they self-align as well, which is very nice. So, um, these are quite heavy coaches. Now, me, I'm not likely to use more than two coaches. Uh, it, this would probably take three, I suspect. Uh, or half a dozen wagons, you know, something like that. I'm not into big heavy trains. Uh, if you wanted big heavy trains, I think you'd need, uh, let's say, 1.5 mil diameter coupling uh, magnets. Um, now, the other variable, uh, this test is just shunting up and down a piece of straight track. Um, what it is not doing, and not showing, sorry, Loco's just fallen off again. What it's not showing uh, is going round curves and going through point work, which is likely to uh, take more energy. And there's a possibility, of course, that uh, it might uncouple uh, under that scenario. Um, I have no means of saying without putting Denson Brook up, and I don't plan on doing that at the moment. Um, however, I think uh, the chances are quite good. We might get away with it, um, particularly with reasonably free-running stock. So, I think these couplings are going to be quite quite good. The coupling in between the coaches... Um, happens to be two mil diameter uh, magnets, so this is really quite strong. Um, and actually, I think I like that because uh, in practice, I'm not likely to shuffle coaches about, I'm likely to leave them as a fixed rake. Um, so, uh, you know, I'll be quite happy to have them stronger and then just uncouple them for uh, packing away. Um, and then if I pull like that, it'll come away from the loco. Um, so, uh, the next thing is uncoupling. Now, I think that 
uh, I can devise a method of uncoupling these because if I stop the um, coaches there like that, I can just about break the loco away. Now, uh, let's do this with um, a bit of inertia so we can see what's going on. And there it doesn't for the camera. How's about that? Wouldn't you just know it? I had it doing it nicely. Uh, it requires a little bit of a, a snatch somehow. Now I've got thoughts of how to introduce a snatch. Um, a gentle constant pull makes it more reluctant to come away. So there's the possibility of uncoupling. A heavier loco would uh, not have a problem. Um, but we certainly couldn't make the magnets any weaker and it still be useful. So I think I might go with those as uh, couplings for uh, the next layout. As I say, I have ideas as to uh, how to um, develop a, an uncoupling regime, which would be hope, whoops, hopefully more su successful than that. But we'll see. But certainly coupling up. Very nice indeed. Hope it's of interest.